Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Kay, and I'm here today to bring you All American Review. Look, I promise you in season six, okay, I'm not gonna make no promises. I, in season six, I'm gonna try to do better to get the reviews out on time because clearly, I just be doing stuff, obviously. Like, I just be doing stuff. I don't be like this with Homecoming. I get that review out that same day. Well, All, I, All American, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna do y'all like that next season. Um, But yes, y'all. I'm sorry, but... Not to shake the table a little bit. <laughs> this episode, for this to be episode 19, I think, this episode wasn't given, like... We on the verge of a season finale. On episode, on the second to last episode, I expect the beginning of the table to be shakest, shookest. Nothing, none of that transpired. Y'all, I'm sorry. My eyes are running, hauling. It's it's not cute. But thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. Um, and that ain't really what's going on last night. I see, like, all uh, <laughs> this... The Bolivia fans was up in arms, but that's, you know, it's just going to be like that. But for me, I like to watch TV and duh, we know this is like TV, but it's made for our consumption, for our entertainment. And so I just want to give a fair, you know, breakdown. Okay. It's not going to be a breakdown. It's going to be what I thought about it. Um... What I just, you know, saw, I don't want to even go give a summary of the episode, but it's just, you know, some things I saw. Um, I do want to say shout out to Erica Vane and, um, Victor Dawson. They do reviews on All American and a slew of shows. So if y'all are not familiar with their channels, go and check them out. They review TV shows. And if I don't watch nothing on TV, I mean, if I don't watch nothing on YouTube, I'm going to watch a TV review, especially after my episode go off. Um, but yeah, y'all. So, all Americans here. It's just you know, I just want to talk about four things. We're gonna talk about patience, Coop, JJ, and Olivia. We're gonna start with Olivia because <sighs> y'all, I just want y'all to know that I am Team Spencer and Kia. I do not want Spencer to be with Olivia no more. I know that's not in game, but I think Kia need a chance. Hashtag bring Kia back. Hashtag bring Kia back. Okay. I'm glad that in the beginning of the episode, Spencer did give us a reference to time in this whole saga because Marvel made me this way. Like in terms of like sequencing. I like to know the time frame. So it's been a few weeks since the dance. And it's been a few weeks since um, Alicia has broken up with Spencer. So, of course, Liv has been getting into different events on campus. And um, somehow or another, I think she done joined some new organization. And now that girl is going to study abroad in London for the summer. And so she is just so hesitant to tell everybody what should be good news because she don't want to step on nobody's toes because, you know, they're still grieving the loss of Billy Baker, as is the audience. Hey, Diggs, why did you do that? But, you know, like, people still grieving. And so she feels kind of guilty for leaving her mom. Jordan had to give her a little bit of a pep talk. Like, this is some exciting news. We're here for you. I'm the man of the house. I can hold it down. But her grandma tell her, you know, like, girl, go for it. Live your life. She read her about, you know, being in love with Spencer. whoop dee dee whoop dee doo um, Jory is up spilling the beans to Laura. Laura. When Liv go and take Laura lunch, Laura, um, um, Liv then tells Laura, you know, about her good news. Her mommy's excited, you know, and, you know, encourages her to go. Um, speaking of Laura, this goes to Coop. Coop, I don't know if I necessarily agree with the storyline that Coop has been given. Coop went from being in the gang and on the street to now being, to being a rapper to working in the um, senior citizen home to now um, shadowing a class and now being in class. I don't know what Coop's goal is. Is Coop's goal to be a lawyer? 
Or is it to be a, a legal assistant? Or is it to be a paralegal? I don't know, because how do you just go to school for one class? Because in order to be a lawyer, you gotta, I mean, is this supposed to just get her feet wet? Like, I don't un, I don't really understand. I, I mean, I know what was said throughout the series, but now it's like the dude is telling, not the dude, the professor of the class whom Coop, I guess, was looking up to in the beginning of the semester, you know, has been critiquing her lately about, I guess, the way she dressed, the way she looked, her vernacular and everything like that. And Coop didn't like that. And so um, she had a little talk with Laura. And so now Laura has come to observe the class. And so basically, they're trying to say it's re retaliation. I'm not going to say it's not retaliation. I'm just saying, Coop, you can't go on the court and say no cap like that lawyer did a couple weeks ago. You can't do that. I understand you want to use your own diction. And you want to, you want to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You from the hood. You know what I'm saying? You want to be around the way. But some aspects of your image going to have to change. You know, like it just is what it is. I don't necessarily know if I feel like the professor was trying to target Coop or single her out or make her feel inferior or make her feel less than. But... These are the the T's. It just it's the T, and I don't know where this is going. You know what happened to Preach? Okay, I I feel like her storyline was stronger when Preach was involved. Where is Preach at? We ain't check. We ain't we ain't heard from Preach since Preach got that job, and he was able to keep um Abina. What hashtag? Where is Preach? Okay, um. Who else I say? Olivia, Coop, uh, Patience. Oh, JJ. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to JJ. Okay, so since the beginning of, I feel like since the beginning of the season or mid-season, I'ma say, JJ has been being real strange. His behavior has been very not JJ edge. JJ has been turning up way too much. JJ has been, you know, slacking on his responsibilities. JJ done joined his frat. And now, last time we saw JJ, um, he was at a party. They was doing rush week. And one of his friends almost slid into glory because of some drugs, some street candy, okay? Um, JJ is now, I feel like, it's not a case of survivor's remorse, but it was definitely a wake-up call because JJ did not, you know, he wasn't taking anything seriously until that, until that happened. So it was just like, okay, so now JJ has taken time. He has secluded himself. He has gone home. And so um, they ain't heard from JJ. JJ has been eating everybody. You know, sometimes you got to isolate yourself a little bit just to get your bearings together. Um, but so they decide to do a wellness check on JJ. So Spencer, Jordan, and Asher all go to JJ's parents' house to check on JJ. And JJ answers the door in a cheery mood. Um, JJ seems fine. Spencer said he is approaching rock bottom quickly. And Asher is saying the same thing. Jordan ain't seeing it. Jordan's not reading the room. So... Um, JJ said he need help on his psych project, so he, they decide to interview each other about, I guess, their mental state. And so, with, you know, everybody just going through a traumatic experience with the loss of Billy Baker, everybody's giving their aspect, and then they try to, like, throw a little bit of Iyanla in there for JJ to tell him he need to get his ducks in a row. JJ is not feeling it. JJ's not feeling it. He not he not feeling the vibe. He tells Spence to get out. Spence got to go and take care of Dylan anyway because Dylan is busy bonding with D'Angelo. Grace hated it. And <laughs> Spencer is feeling that typical, you know, older child syndrome where they feel like the older child went through the fire and the, you know, the young kid get to skate for anything. You know, they just get do free, they get the free roam and do whatever they want untouched, unscathed. So... Spencer leaves. Spencer is texting Olivia and was like, I need your help with something. Whatever. So, JJ, Jordan now talks to JJ. Um, Jordan has a spiel. He ends up, you know, turning on JJ. And then Asher finally was like, oh, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to keep it funky with you. I'm going to keep it straight. I'm going to keep it 100. 
He started talking. He started reading JJ off the bat. JJ get mad. All right, so boom. See him come back, JJ said, I don't owe none of y'all nothing. And then Olivia pops out of the background and was like, but you owe me. So what you gonna do about it? And I'm like, how he owe you, girl? Sis, how he owe you? I'm blinking, y'all can't see it, but <laughs> got these shades on. How? How he owe you, girl? Liam says JJ owe her an apology for coming to um her father's repass under the influence. Now. This is where I feel like the writers kind of lost me because was JJ coming to the repass improper? I mean, was him coming to the, the repass under the influence improper? It was. But typically when people um, go through something as traumatic as losing a loved one, especially a beloved coach who they cherish so dearly, they tend to, um, and I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm not going to sit, you know, and look at somebody differently because of how they grieve. You know what I'm saying? People grieve in different ways. Um, JJ was going through a lot. He was already turning up a lot. And so with something like this happening, him turning up to numb the way he was feeling is not atypical is what I'm saying. I felt like Olivia was not the person to check JJ about that. Especially when she so desperately wanted to have a drink. She, I felt like she was not understanding. Also, in addition to that, just like it has been mentioned on Erica Vane's channel that there has been numerous times throughout the, ser the series that Olivia has been around people who have been doing so. She has been in partying spaces. She has been, you know, to social events where people were drinking. Okay. So I'm guessing the reason why she got so upset is because she was going through such a hard time and she wanted to drink herself. Um, she felt like, I guess, JJ put her too close to drink because I felt like she maybe thought that she wasn't strong enough to handle that moment, especially when she was struggling herself. Maybe that's why she felt like JJ owed an apology to her because other than that, people have been drinking around Olivia all the other times knowing that Olivia is a former addict of any, any kind of substance. Anything that, could, that she can lose her control of herself, any kind of substance, People have been around Olivia doing that stuff, you know, throughout the series. So, I'm, I'm just, you know, because there was a, there was a time when Olivia relapsed during this, during the series and she was taking pills and drinking. So, I just felt like instead of trying to talk to JJ about what he may be feeling and I mean, I'm not saying that you know, she owed JJ that because she didn't because she was grieving herself. But as a person who was a sponsor and who knows the signs, instead of talking to JJ about it, I feel like when she did say something to JJ, she was saying it out of um, reprimandment and not, you know, comforting. I guess that makes sense. Y'all, y'all following what I'm saying? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? That's that's just how I felt about it. But nonetheless, this gets JJ to open up. And so JJ goes back and talks about his childhood and things he experienced, you know, his mom and daddy, you know, being in social events and him being in the life of the party and him, you know, trying to be the fun guy to gain attention. And a part of me felt like I got cheated on the breakdown of what was really going on with JJ because I felt like they just skimmed the surface of it versus doing a deep dive like everyone else. When Spencer was going through his situation, because Spencer was always going through a situation, I feel like they did a deep dive on Spencer all the time. 
they did a deep dive on sure they did they did they did a deep dive on coop they did a deep dive on Liv. They did a deep dive on Jordan. They did a deep dive on Layla. They did a deep dive on Asher. I'm just like, so we just ain't gonna give Jordan his just not Jordan. JJ his just due. And then JJ ends up, you know, going to Asher and the coach staff telling him that he needs time to work on his mental health. And Asher tells him that his spot may not be, you know, guaranteed when he gets back. And JJ was like, well, you know, these are the things that I need to do for myself. So if it's available, I'm here. And if it's not, I'm still here. Um, let's not need patience. I feel like patient storyline is finally getting to a place where I'm satisfied with it. Because for the longest time, I felt like they didn't know what to do with patience. I felt like patience was just dangling. You know what I'm saying? Just dangling. And so now I feel like... Um, I feel like now we started to get somewhere with Patience. Um, Patience did get a new phone. Patience finally got a new phone. So I'm glad because, you know, but besides the phone, they needed to check the rest of the devices in the house, everybody's phone. They needed to go to the police station. Everybody who live in the house, devices needed to be checked. They needed to be debugged. They, need, they needed to go through because... At this point, that girl could have put an air tag on on um, patients for all we know. We don't know. Um, and then for her to like bum rush patients' lives, talking about some call me back, you block me, I don't got your number no more. I'm trying to get through. I just want to talk to you. Like, you know, I was I was here for patients speaking up for herself because Layla had to get patients all the way together. Like, no, ma'am. I told you, stop talking to her. You can't do the patients. You can't do these things no more. You're not a normal person anymore. You are a celebrity. You are an artist. You're trying to get somewhere. And we understand that you have a fan base. And we understand that this girl may have helped your career. But at the same time, you've done what you need to do to, you know, show her your gratitude. But you put yourself in a dangerous position because you don't know her. And so, again... Um, Layla eventually finds out that that girl put something on Patience' phone. She she gives that girl a restraining order, and she gives that girl a restraining order, and she tell her you can't come, Miss Ma'am. You can't come within fifty feet of Patience, or you're going to jail. I'm calling the police. And so she was like, you really would do that to me? Like, is it that serious? And then Layla going to say, I know you put that spot on her phone. That girl going to look at her like, uh, boo, you can't say nothing now, sis. We know you did it. We know you did it. How else did it get out there? How else you know what I was talking about if you didn't do it? Hmm. All right, then. So then I was here for patience defending herself, saying a fan, you know, a fan decided to, you know, undermine me and leak some of my business and ended up hurting somebody that I really care about. So, um, she was just like, that's not okay. And then after the girl starts spamming her comments, that's when patience, it turned into cyberbullying. Now, I'm not here for that. I don't think it was right for Patience to say go spam that girl comments with negative things because you don't know that girl's already deranged. You don't know what she is capable of doing at this point. Patience. I don't think that was smart. Um, so, <laughs> like Victor said, it's given very much Empire and I'm here for it. Let me tell you something. I had my, my tips with Empire. I had moments when I would watch Empire when I was like, ugh, I don't want to watch this no more. But I had been telling myself and my husband about the show because he ain't watched All American this season. So when it comes to Netflix, that's when he gonna watch it. I had been telling him with Patient Storyline, they need to go Empire Star Route with it. I had been saying that. And I was just like, bruh, like at this point, we need videos. We need shoots. We need to know lyrics to Patient Song. I don't know. I can I can see drip drop drip 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 drop all day. We patients don't got where's patients drip drop record at? I know it's ain't no music show, but if y'all gonna make her artists, the fans, 
the fake ones and the real ones need to be singing word for word. Where is girl single at? And I just can't wait till, I feel like Patience don't know what she want. And as an artist, I feel like that's fair because you got to figure out what your out, what your lane is. But I'm like, Patience want something, then she don't want something, then she wants something. It's just hard to keep up. And I'm, <laughs> Layla and Gia ain't being able to keep up either. And, um, that little moment between Patience and Coop, it was giving, is they going to put Patience and Coop back together? Because that's what it's giving. That's very much what it's giving. Because why was Coop watching her live? Coop ain't never watched. They ain't never showed us seeing Coop support Patience's career. So now she watching Coop. And why her notifications are coming to her phone on her Instagram? Hmm. I feel like y'all, is y'all going to put them back together? Because that's what it's giving. That's what it's, that's what it's giving. It's giving y'all going to put Patience and Coop back together. Um... Oh, yeah. Can't forget the part that everybody was geeking over. Um, Liv finally goes to the beach house and um, she tells Spencer that um, she's going to study abroad. They, She's holding his hand. They hug. And Spencer got that look in his eyes like, oh, my God. Like, she about to leave me. And we all know Spencer got abandonment issues. Even though it's only for the summertime. But... I mean, he ain't been talking to Liv like that on a consistent basis. No way. They ain't been talking on the phone, texting and hanging out like that. They still was in that weird space. So, okay. You was in a relationship where you just got out one still. Like, now, I'm just like, mm-mm. Hashtag, I don't want Spencer and Liv back together. Unpopular opinion. I want Spencer with Kill. <laughs> Now, I would be here for them giving Spencer and Kia a run and then uh, Liv hating from the sideline and then Spencer eventually get with Liv. But Liv, I ain't feeling Liv no more. Liv want what she want, when she want it, how she want it. And Spencer is always bending to the will of Liv. And I'm just not here for that because I'm like, that man can't grow and do nothing for himself because he's so wrapped up in what she doing. Boy, play a little football. Play a little football. You want to play football? So play your football. This, this is about Spencer and football, not the circle of love between Liv and Spencer. I'm not here for that. No. But yeah, y'all, I think that's it. I don't have nothing else to talk about. Y'all, the season finale come on next Monday. We're in a couple days now because it's Friday and so Monday. Um. We'll see what it's giving. Somebody getting a ring. Um, I know everybody probably is hoping it's Spencer and Olivia, but I don't think it's I, I think it's Asher and Jamie. But hey, at this point, I don't even care who get the ring. <laughs> I don't care who get the ring. And writers and networks streaming, please get these writers they check so we can have good TV shows next season. Do not leave us on the cliffhanger like y'all did in 2000s. We don't want to go through that no more. We don't want to go through that no more. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos. Um, also, I'm thinking about doing um, a Bel Air rewatch re because um, I just got into Bel Air. So, I'm probably going to have to watch it again just because I watched it with fresh eyes and not um, analytical ones. So, yeah, I'll probably do the rewatch for the summer. Since we ain't gonna have nothing back on TV, and I guess whenever Grownish decide to come back on TV, I review the season, the final season of Grownish. But yeah, y'all, hashtag renew All American Homecoming. CW, what you doing? Um, yeah, y'all, I've had more videos. Deuces.